start it now. Let's do it. Let's get going. All right, I think we're live. There we go. All right. I've been. I was playing in this last night and roaming around. Oh, here's one of these creatures up here. I love uh, some of the creatures uh, they have added to this game. And I'm actually going to talk a little bit about some of the stuff that uh, is on their Trello board. And what's funny? I just saw. You know, we were talking about. Um, Oh, that's interesting. Oh, no. Okay. Uh, we were talking about Mafia 3. Uh, uh, the commercial that just came up on the stream is Mafia 3. Okay. <laughs> so here's this. Here's one of these creatures. Uh, well, first of all, uh, good morning, guys. Good evening or wherever wherever you're at in the world, whatever time it is. Uh, glad uh, you joined us if you did. And uh, I am on Eden Star. And uh, real quick, though, before we get going, I do have someone who's been AWOL. He's been AWOL uh, a little bit, and I'm going to forgive him for that. I guess he had a good reason, but, uh, <laughs> but I got Spasmo in here. And uh, uh, how you doing, Spasmo? You want to let everybody know where in the hell you've been, man. What's going on? Hey, guys. Yeah, I apologize if any of you have missed me on my YouTube channel and obviously Shake Streams, obviously, because he, he presents me like an awesome dude. Um, yeah, on my side of the world, uh, my whole state in Australia experienced a statewide blackout, which happens by a storm that only happens once every 50 years, apparently, and, um, knocked out my internet, knocked out my power for two days, internet only came back late the other night, and, yeah, but it's been quite interesting, it's been, it's been an experience, <laughs> So, so you're back. Okay, good. And I think he's going to make Yeah, I'm back. I'm yes. back. I'm glad. I'm glad you don't. Oh, sh oh geez. Sorry. A uh, big old giant stomper thing just walked by me. Scared the hell of me. But um, uh, hopefully uh, he's able to join me in Severum tomorrow. And uh, that'll be a lot of fun. Yes, definitely. Uh, yes. Definitely. I'll, try, I'll definitely try and be there for that. And then Wednesday, again, we're going to do um, Osiris, I think, and I think uh, Spasmo is going to join us in that as well, and a couple other people from ShakesMirage.com. They've been busy building the base. We're going to check that out. Um, Zen Zuken and uh, Von Steiner and the bearded axe man, the crazy man. And um, Thursday, Il2 Sturmovic as well. And then Friday, I'm going to do a special uh, coverage on the release of Mafia 3. All right. Get your gang, get your gangster on. <laughs> uh, yeah, you know I'm tempted. I do have, the, I do. You know the green jacket he wears, the military jacket. I've got one of those actually, so I'm definitely going to put that on. I was tempted to go out and get me a Afro wig to put on, but uh, I don't want to get, uh, <laughs> I don't want to get in trouble or something. But I was already getting the character for that. Uh, all right, that's awesome, man. That's awesome. I got sexy Dovakin in the chat, Von Steiner. Uh, sexy, hey, how you doing, man? Uh, the, well, these freaky creatures. So this, I wanted to show this one here because I call it the carrot creature, uh, but it's not. And here's a couple other of these freaky creatures. And in fact, you can see on the stream, I've added one of these little guys as my pets to the my little top there. And I've got also some of these little edible things I've added too because uh, I wanted to talk about that in that in Eden Star, the experimental branch, which I'm in now. Uh, they've added now survival. And so if you go to your inventory, you actually have to worry about food and water. The good news is so far when I've been playing this, it's it doesn't feel like every two minutes I've got to, like, you know, your guy has a tapeworm or something and, like, has to eat, you know, a steak every two seconds and has to drink about 40 <laughs> gallons of water. You know, you know those games I'm talking about, Spasmo, where, where you, like, you yeah, eat, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, what's a really good arc? Arc seems to be does that a fair bit. Like you, you eat like you eat like almost your whole body weight in steak or meat or whatever. <laughs> Five minutes later, you're gonna do the same thing. <laughs> right, right, yeah. It's like I mean, like you got a tapeworm basically. Um, but I'm gonna move back a little bit, guys, because if I move back, I think these. There they go. Here go the little carrot creatures, which I think are so damn cute um, and creative. Will start walking around. They don't harm you, but I think. There, there you go. See, now he, he he goes back into his little shell. I think I could eat him or something. Hold on. Yeah, I just, oh, my God. You're going yep. to you, eat your pet. Oh, my God. Okay, there it goes. Eating the pet. Yeah, <laughs> and, and it gave me cartilage. So from the carrot creature, 
you can get cartilage. That's awesome. And what did you use the cartilage for? Uh, well, I you know, I'm not at the crafting table, but all of this stuff you have, you can craft. Now, that's another new thing going to be in Eden Star here when it com this comes out. Actually, the experimental branch, you everybody can access now um, if you want to check it out. But basically, you know, it's they've added crafting. And so when you have your base, you and we're going to do that today. Actually, I'm going to I'm going to get to a base and I'm going to show you a crafting table and, and try to craft a my first weapon um, and Eden Star this new build. Uh, so let's let's just pull up the map real quick, guys, and get our bearings. I'm way the hell over here. I do have a base started and maybe I'll run towards that. But I want to show you a little bit of the world here as we go there. Uh, the map now is four kilometers square. I also looked, hello, uh, Nenad Metric. Nice to see you here. Um, good morning, Zenzukin. Awesome. Glad you're here, my friend. Um, but the, the, um, if you go to their Trello board, and basically, a tre if you don't know what a Trello board is, it's basically a place where people can, I, I like to say, oh shit, hold on, organize their thoughts and basically be transparent about uh, a project or development. And you can go there and interact with them. And that's what they've done, Eden Star, Flix Interactive, is they've got this awesome Trello board where you can vote on things you want to see get in the game. You can give feedback. Uh, you can see what they're considering. And you can also see what they've implemented. It's pretty cool. But um, I looked at that, and they are going to bring things like uh, some, you know, more creatures, basically like a zebra creature, almost like a pterodactyl, like a flying big dinosaur bird or something. Um, what else? I think I saw like a, um, they're considering things like weather effects, you know, just a whole bunch of stuff there, uh, which is really cool to see. Now, I, I'm watching you throw this uh, dog around here, uh, Shake, that yeah. uh, I guess this dog or hound. hound Can you actually, uh, you were talking about pets. Can you actually uh, tame most animals, or is it only certain types you can tame at the moment? Well, at the moment, you can't tame any. It's not, you know, it's not like um, Ark, you know, where you can, like, tame creatures. Uh, some are docile and some are aggressive. That's that's what's in it right now. I, I don't. Oh, that's another thing they have coming. Yeah. So they're planning also to implement a drone. So like Osiris, where you have the drone with you, I think they're going to add maybe in the future a drone that will, you could basically have follow you around, help you fight the enemy kind of thing. Uh, but no taming of animals that I've seen mentioned or anything. Okay, right. Yeah. I mean. Yeah, it just it, I just thought with the pets that means oh do you get to choose your sort of pets but having a drone is just as cool. <laughs> oh yeah, I do like the whole drone idea, um, especially if you could send the drone out to like maybe like uh, rec recon an area and you could like see through a camera on the drone. I think um, Imperion does that where you can send a drone out and kind of see through the camera of the drone. I think that's pretty cool. Also oh, scouting with the drone and such to see if. Right. Uh, should I be going this way or should I be going that way or should I avoid this area? Right, exactly. Another thing, if you haven't seen yet, the new thing they've added uh, is new biomes. So the water has been added. And it looks like they fixed that glitch maybe where you couldn't see the top layer of the water. Um, the world, again, is four kilometers square now, a lot, lot bigger, uh, more diverse uh, biomes. They've added like a swamp biome too as well, I think they call it that. Uh, but where I'm heading to now, guys, is I'm heading towards my base. Uh, because what I want to do is show you a little bit of base building, how that how that's done, and I want to show you. Let's see, try to craft a weapon. Now it used to be, you. I don't think you had to craft weapons before. Um, I want to say almost like you unlocked it, but this I think the whole crafting thing is new. But I could be totally wrong about that. It, it's now. Um... We maybe you had to gather the parts, maybe, or did you have to unlock it? I don't. I don't remember gathering parts for open. I, I want to say you gathered the materials, and then maybe I think you either unlocked the the gun <laughs> or you crafted it. Bless you, or you crafted it. Um, yeah, thank you. <laughs> what's What's different now though is you actually get like the actual parts to the weapon, like the bolt, the receiver, um, you know, like there's different parts of a weapon, and then you basically craft those together. 
Ah, uh, okay, right. Yeah, that seems interesting. I mean, it's a, it's a different aspect to, I guess, things like Ark or what's another big one, Rust or something like that, where you just get right. all these materials and it makes the whole weapon. Actually, having to make like the slide or the trigger assembly actually sounds a bit more, I guess, a bit more realistic because you make those parts, then you put them together. It's not like right. you throw rocks and wood and metal into a furnace. And I was like, oh, you get a gun around, uh, you get a gun <laughs> right. instead. Right. Well, I actually think you, uh, you uh, when I get up to this crafting station, we'll look at it, but I actually think, I don't think you make like the receiver. I think it's like you, you have the part of the, you can, well, maybe you do. Let's go look. Let's just, you know what? I don't know the hell I'm talking about. Let's get up to the uh, crafting station and we will, uh, we'll find out for sure. Let me check the chat real quick. Uh, Spasmo. I got, um, Whole bunch of people in here, awesome checking in. Von Steiner, Nina Madurik, Zenzukin, Private Killer, hello. Uh, the first Orion, what's up, my friend? Uh, awesome, I love seeing regular people in here. Uh, here's a nice mineral you want to get. It's called Tenel, and that's the other thing in this world. As you go around, you got this super mutated right hand, and I think it's called the R and D. But this right hand is like your friend. I mean, it's your weapon basically. It sucks in materials. You can you can send a pulse out. Oh, what the hell did I just do there? Uh, I've I've been watching uh I've been watching uh, using the right. It sort of looks. It reminds me of a RoboCop arm, but with sucking power. It yeah. sucks the it sucks the life yeah. out of everything. Yeah, it does. It, you it, and the and the thing that I love to do the most. I think I got in trouble last stream. I can't remember who it was. I think got all worked up that I was basically torturing these animals, but um. I love to pick stuff up and almost like juggle with them. Like, you know, I'll show you here in a minute what I'm talking about. Um, but basically picking these animals, you toss them everywhere. <laughs> I yeah, love I was, it. I was watching what you were doing with that hound thing that was attacking you. It's like, yeah, yeah nope, don't want to have your, don't want to have your menace stuff. Off no. Go. <laughs> it, oh, what the hell is that? It, it's almost like you're playing God, but with one hand. <laughs> exactly. And then and the other thing you can do, what's cool, and I've not done it yet, but you actually, okay, this is called, oh, hold on, I got I got a critter coming. Oh, those are dogs chasing somebody. And this is the other thing that's cool. So I'm, uh, I got to get back on track here, but, oh, shit, hold on. Is um, the NPCs, the hostile ones, actually hunt the non-hostile NPCs. Now, I think that is cool. You know, so you got, like, this dog creature, and it's chasing the deer. And it actually will, I think, eat them. It will kill them. That, that's actually interesting compared to uh, other games where it's like the only way you can get, uh, I guess, an aggressive creature to attack an, a non-aggressive creature is you have to attack it attack it, and somehow lure, lure it off you by getting Gosh. it to attack the non-aggressive creature or something. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. Like a, a good example yeah, would be, yeah. in, a, a good example from, from my memory would be... Um, uh, arc where you have like a saber tooth chasing you and you send like your triceratops to attack it while you run away and heal or hopefully a wild one comes across and the saber tooth attacks that while attacking you sort of right. thing and you run away while they're fighting <laughs> right right yeah exactly but this one they're actually you can see them hunting other animals we're back in the water guys uh, I love the water effects this is on the Unreal Engine 4 looks fantastic now, the only thing I will say as a, what the, oh I got a I got a water creature. Hold on, I'm being attacked by a fish, guys. Hold on a second here. I got another one coming. Um I'd like to see some mutated sharks at some point, but uh, that's just my preference. But uh what what I was gonna say, I'd like to see this game. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to see like, you know, some big ass sea underwater sea creatures. But um a uh, couple things about the water, and then I'm going to get back on the things I want to see, but I guess this is part of that, is I tried to build in the water, right? I wanted to test to see, could I build under the water a underwater base? Because to me, that sounds epic, right? And I get into the water, I start putting... Yeah, that, yeah, cool. that, yeah, that would be cool. You put glass windows, and like you're kind of like Jacques Cousteau under the sea. But um, I went to do it, and when I built the walls, the water just went right through them. So I don't know if uh, they plan on doing that where you can build underwater. I hope they do. I know that it's a challenge in some games, um, even some other building games. Like when you build underwater, uh, it's hard. I, I don't know the programming or the or the engine they're using to be able to just block out that water once you start to build underwater. 
I'd love to see that feature added, though. I think it would be awesome. Yeah, I mean, the only game that I know you can actually successfully build underwater is that Subnautica game. I, I don't know if I'm saying it right, where it's like you crash oh, land yeah, on, yeah, a, yeah. on a water planet yeah. and you got to build everything, collect everything underwater. That's the only game that I know did that, but apparently when that was uh, in early release, that had a lot of problems with water leaking through walls and stuff mm -hmm. as well. Right, right. I'm hopefully going to do it. The other thing I think, and this is, um, you know, we don't want this to look like other games, but, you know, there's a lot of other games out now in this kind of genre that are similar. So we got, um, you know, we got Imperion, Galactic Survival. Uh, we've got uh, Osiris now, A New Dawn. We've got this game here. And they have similarities but differences as well. But one thing I saw in Osiris that I think could be added to this game and I think would just really add to the immersion is how they do the effect on the screen of your of your helmet. And um, you're going to see that on Wednesday when we stream, and I know you're going to join us, but uh, those of you in the stream right now that have played um, Osiris, uh, the screen effect on the, on the helmet, like the dripping water, the... Um, the do, the kind of like, it just looks epic. And I, I hope in the future that um, Eden Star will consider that, where they'll they'll add a little more things like that detail to just make you feel like you're really in this suit. Yeah, I mean, from from the videos, from the stream that I saw you do last, uh, last week with it, and from videos I've seen across YouTube and on TV and stuff, it actually seems kind of cool. Have been in the suit. It's like it shows that you, you you're not just running around like everything else. You it's a you've, you, there's an outside environment that can hurt you if you're not yes. wearing this suit. Yeah, no, it's just crazy, and that's on the Unreal Engine Four too. So I, I know they could do it in this game. But they might not want to, uh, but that's just something that struck me. Let me check the chat real quick, Spasm. I got some people that are jumping in here. Um, Let's see here. Uh, first, Ryan. Hello. I want to make sure I got everybody. Uh, there's also someone new that I saw in here. Pantelia Varias. Hello. Thanks for joining us. And then Private Kills the Shake. I bought a machine gun in Cerverium with my mama's money that I stole. What about you? Uh, yeah, just what he's talking about, guys. Wow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, I did do the finally the rap. Uh, I had some people, and I think Spazma was messing with Shake, uh, you know, do some, you know, my Mosin on booty or something. And so I did do a rap. And one of the lines is, um, you stole your mama's money uh, to buy that MG. <laughs> so that's what he's talking about. <laughs> that I actually didn't realize. I'm, see, now I'm going to have to go back and rewatch the video again, Shake. And oh, now yeah. pick up all these cool little things that you've said. <laughs> oh, yeah. You still, yeah, yeah. You know, I was trying to be funny there, of course. But... Uh, you know, there's, you know, you know that's happening. You know, there's people who play those games. You know, they like, I gotta have that MG, you know, and, <laughs> and they're like, Mama, I've done it uh, with my wife. Honey, can I spend a couple bucks on this gun? <laughs> you know, it happens. <laughs> uh, I, I I can imagine that sort of conversation uh, with your wife. It's like, oh, can I can I borrow a few bucks? I want to buy this gun in this game. And she just looks at you, going, "What the hell are you on about?" <laughs> right? Yeah. How how old are you? I mean, uh, come on out. <laughs> me, I'm uh, I am 25. <laughs> no, I was talking about me. Her saying that to me, like, how old are you? Oh, by a gun in a game? <laughs> oh, sorry, I actually thought that was an no, actual no, question. No, 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 no. no, no, no. <laughs> so that's what she says to me. Oh wow. Oh gosh. <laughs> All right, guys. Just so you guys know, uh, I've been running around Instar. Uh, it has turned nighttime. Let me turn my light on. When it is nighttime, uh, things get a little more hostile in the world. Uh, especially when you have a base. And we're trying to get to my base, which I feel like is, I'm getting there, guys. I'm pulling the map up. We're getting close. Um, but what happens is, is these creatures come out at night. And I almost like the, the, the freaks come out at night. The freaks come out at night. You remember that song? And, um, oh, you pretty uh, No, I don't. No, 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 I don't. Oh, sorry. I'm no. probably, I'm probably a bit young for that one. Yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> but they come out at night and they attack your base. And so that's where this turns into a little bit of tower defense, where you got to have your base um, set up in a way that's going to help protect it from these creatures. And you can do that by adding all these different kinds of weapons and things, um, and also the design of your base as well. So we're almost there, guys. It's up ahead. The blue laser beam going up is Shake's base. So we're going to get there. 
do you know what that reminds me of? Like with all the creatures coming out at night and having a base you got to defend or whatever. Did you ever watch any of the Riddick movies with uh, Vin Diesel? Yeah, in? yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, I yeah, can't yeah. remember what that first one is, where it's like they all crash on the planet in the space in the spaceship, and yeah. uh, Reddick is handcuffed yeah. by the cop, and they come across that base or that, I guess, an outpost or whatever you want to call it. And as right. soon as the sun goes down, all these monsters come up and just wreak havoc and everyone kill everyone until there's only a few people left. But I think it was like uh, that's what that that's what Eden Star reminds me of. Now it's like it all goes dark and everything goes to hell. Right. <laughs> And uh, I think it was it called something like something like where he's blind. He only sees in the dark or something, right? Something like that. Yeah, uh, he's he's not blind. Uh, he's a ah, uh, he's a uh, he's basically got inbuilt night vision. Right, right. And okay. it's like that's why he wears the goggles in the daytime because. Um, it, it's like it flares his vision or he can't right. see properly like like night vision so it's like when it's night time he takes the goggles off can see as well as any of us can see in the day right but um yeah it's uh at, but at daytime that's why he's gonna wear the i guess what you would call goggles or sunglasses right. so he can see, he can see normally in the daytime without flaring his eyes Right. Okay, guy. I'm gonna I'm give him a little update. Of what's going on here? And you can see this in the stream. So right now I'm at my base, and these are the freaky creatures that come out at night. And and what they do is they attack you and the base. Right. So they can damage your base. They can destroy your base. Um, and you can repair though your base, obviously as well. But the thing is, your design of your base plays a major part on how well you're going to survive these waves of attacks. The longer you're in the game, like as far as you know, like day three, day four, day five the more intense these attacks get. Uh, so you're always having to upgrade your base, you know, add more weapons, repair things. And this blue bubble that's around my base is is made basically by your Eden kit, this thing right inside of here. And that's basically how you claim your base, this, this Eden kit. And you can expand the size of the dome of, their, uh, of your base or of this kit. Let's go ahead and let's see if we can do that right now. Let's activate the Eden kit. You can see right here, 15 meters, 30 meters, 45 meters, 60 meters. And you can increase the size of that. Uh, it gives you options, but you have to have the resources to do that. And you can see I don't have them all uh, on me right now to increase the, the size of that base. Um, so that's that's the core thing. Once you have that, you then can create a colony. So you and there is multiplayer in this game. There's PvP, PvE. You can create a colony. Uh, let's go ahead and it won't let me this in, in the experimental batch. But you can, oh, here we go. Let's try it right here. Create a colony. We'll call this my favorite one to use is um, Shaketopia. Create that. I don't know if that worked. Let's see. Uh, yeah, Shaketopia. And what's cool about this is you can invite people into your colony. And then you can give them privileges, like, within that colony. Uh, we're going to attack, guys, so I'm going to get out here and... Oh, my God. And uh, fight these guys off real quick. Uh, which is a pretty cool uh, feature in multiplayer. I'm hoping to get people from Shakes Marauders on with me and create a calling like we're doing um, in Osiris. I think it'd be a lot of fun. Yeah, I, this is another one of those games where having a few people with you makes all the difference. Right. Mm. Uh, someone was saying, uh, first Orion, because I'm sub to Shake and Sp Yes, first Orion, because you are sub to me, you are a spasmoid. <laughs> oh, yeah, you got your own fan club going. I, I mean, I got the Shakes Marauders. You got, got the... Uh, fan club, yeah. Spasmoids. Spasmoids. Yeah, oh. the, uh, the spasmoids. I, I, I'm I'm happy to say that the the spasmoids will be a thing, but will we wait further in time to have any sort of more than just a name for it? I think. Mm -hmm. All right, let me check. But the there's channel. lucky, there's okay. lucky few will be spasmoids. <laughs> yes. Oh, what are these two doing? We got two of these big creatures. I think they're either mating or talking. That's really strange. Okay. Um, I got uh, Dark Planet. It does get dark at night. There is a light, though. Oh, Dark Planet, I think is what they're called. I'm saying it's called. Um, and dark else? Planet. Uh, is it? No, I'll, I'll, have to have a, I'll have to yeah. have a look. Dark Planet does sound almost right. Yeah. 
Okay, private because will the monsters be bigger every time it gets later in the days, etc.? Um, yeah, I think you can you throw people with your hand. I know you can fight people. There are weapons. I think you could throw people with your hands because that would be epic. <laughs> All right. <laughs> can, you, can you imagine, Shake, standing there on your base and you just throw out the people you don't want anymore? It's like, yep, there you go. Yeah, you're, gone. you're banned. In fact, if that if that's not a feature, it needs to be one. You, you need to be able to throw people through the freaking air because that's awesome. But here, I'm looking at the uh, inventory, guys, the and I'm looking at the fabricator. Now, there is another fabricator better than this one or I saw or or maybe yeah it looked bigger in a, one of these bases that you can make different things I believe uh, but this is like a start so you can fabricate these different things like so one of them is you can fabricate a uh, ammo small caliber ammo but I need gunpowder so obviously I need to see how to make gunpowder and I can make gunpowder so let's make let's craft some gunpowder let's see what happens here guys let's see if we can do this so I just made some gunpowder. Let's see if I can make... I need... Oh, I need more gunpowder. What? Let's see. Let's see. I need gunpowder three. It says I don't have any. That's because I have not dragged it over here. Let's see now. I should have gunpowder now. I do have it. So let's craft the magazine. Okay. Now I've got some bullets. Now the question is the receiver. So what's this right here? Medium caliber ammo high caliber ammo but what i don't see is the ability to make a weapon itself so i'm not 100 percent sure how in the hell you do that if you don't really have i'm guessing i have to unlock the blueprint maybe i'm not sure what's this right here Schematic. blueprint blueprint or mold maybe yeah i'm looking at all the different things here and I'm not seeing, like, um, what does this say? Micro crystals. Alloy. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Let's try this, guys. We're going to try to make, uh, maybe I got to craft this first. Then it'll show the ability to make a weapon. Let's see what happens. Can you play with Spasmo? Yes, I will. I'll play with Spasmo and whoever else owns this game. On Mondays when I stream it for sure, um, definitely. And I, I don't even know what the price yeah, is right uh, now. What's it? What is it on Steam? Like nineteen bucks, I think. Uh, I'll have a look for you. Just a sec. Uh, All right. So now, I've crafted some things here: aluminum, used for construction, light laser technology. I'm wondering if it's going to unlock more things for me. I don't see it happening. It's uh, it, it's twenty dollars in uh American. Twenty dollars, okay. Yeah, twenty bucks. Fiber. Uh, our first run. I I'm only here as a voice today, as I don't have this game yet. <laughs> I am in the having watching Shake play it and uh, possibly thinking of buying it and joining him for Monday streams as well. And just so you guys know, this experimental branch, which is public, but yet not totally public, it's not on the main build, um, is, um, is doesn't have multiplayer yet. They're making sure that the multiplayer is stable uh, before they add it to this build. So no multiplayer in what I'm playing right now, but it is in this game. It will be. Uh, I'm, just, I'm just going through the different crafting things here. Here's polymer. Let's try this thing. I want to cancel. What am I making? Why am I making all this fiber? I have no idea. Let's try to make... Let's craft some... What is this again? Polymer. There we go. Let's craft some of that. I'm trying to figure out how to make weapons. I saw... I saw... Um, I had some weapons parts before, but I found those. So while that's going, let's go ahead and head out. I'm going to show you guys some base building. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get up to the roof here. And I'm going to show you guys how this with works. The, um, yeah. Sorry to interrupt. Sorry to interrupt. Yeah. But with the, um, with the gun parts that you found, can you copy them at all? Or like a, make a blueprint out of what you found so you can make them? I, that's what I was wondering. But I don't see that anywhere. Um, but it doesn't mean it's. I could be missing it. But I don't see like a... like You're thinking like Ark and uh, some of these other games where you have a blueprint... 
I'm not. Yeah, like it's uh, if you if you find if you find something you can't build yourself or mm-hmm. whatever, but you manage to find like the you find that you find the machine gun, for example, that you've been wanting, but you can't build or whatever. Right. But instead of keeping that machine gun, you 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 strip it down or you whatever, so you can make get the blueprint, so you can make as many as you want. Right. I don't. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Uh, this new build is new for me too, so I'm still figuring out. But I want here. I want to show you guys something real quick. The building. You hit your Q key like uh, Quebec, uh, and um, you basically brings up this building interface. Really simple to use. And I'll show you. I'm going to put up some. Uh, uh, and there's different things you can build. There's foundations, primitives, utilities, defensives, defenses, modifications, and decorations. I'll show you some of this. But right now we're going to go on. Um, primitives and this is where you got like your wall so i'm, I'm going to put up a little like uh, glass wall here and you just left click it uh you if you hold your mouse down you can rotate things there so you see i just put that little glass wall around that's pretty cool looking um but if i scroll through there's other things like doors walls you know different shapes let's put uh why don't we put a little wall up over here why not and what you make these out of will determine how strong they are basically so uh if you you know if you use this list like right now i'm making this out of ironite uh but i could bring this up and i could hold my control key down and i could scroll through different materials i can make this out of tenel so you can see the tenel half wall has 1750 hp and if i go back to the ironite it has 1375 so the tenel is going to be a stronger wall but it's a more i'd say rare commodity resource to find in the game uh, compared to Ironite, which is kind of everywhere. So this is basically how you build. It's really easy. Uh, let's see if we can make a prop in here or something. I'll show you guys this. Let's go down to utilities. There is a uh, basically a spawn point you can make. And it looks like I can make one. So I'm actually going to make this spawn point. So when I die, I should spawn back here. So let's put this spawn point in. Now, the only issue is going to be, you see how it's red? Uh, the reason it's red is because I don't have enough power uh, to power all of this stuff. And so what happens is I got to go and make a generator. And let's see if I can make a generator here. It looks like, looks like I can't. Or maybe, is it still working? Maybe my stuff is working. Hold on, let's go look on top, guys. Nope, they're all down. And that's because, again, there's not enough power. So what we're going to have to do to make power is I need I need some more protonite. And how you get protonite is from the trees, basically, and some other places, but mainly the trees. Let's go downstairs and get some protonite. And it, and this is what you do in this game. As the day is, or night is approaching, you're kind of exploring. You're working on your base. You're gathering resources because you know, like I said, I'm going to show you guys here in a minute. When nighttime arrives, in about nine minutes, all hell is going to break loose. So it, all, all time to put put the hammer down and pick up the guns. <laughs> uh, yeah, you're going to see here at night at this base, um, a whole bunch of bad dudes are going to come out and basically try to destroy Shake. So, Has your base been, like, totally, like, wrecked yet? Or have you been pretty lucky with it so far? You, you know, I didn't put too much into this base right here because um, I know that pretty much when the release goes out of this, I'm going to start over, you know. And so I just yep. kind of fiddled with this one just kind of more for the streams and to show people. Uh, but when I actually go to build my real base, you know, when the when the, this goes fully public, is what you want to do, what I've learned, you see like these, you'll see the stream here, but there's these rock cliffs and stuff. And what you want to do is, like, use the... There's parkour in this game. So, you know, you can wall run and do things like that. So what you want to do is get up on a cliff and build your base basically on a cliff. Um, so basically, it stops the ground creatures from attacking. And... It oh, okay. Li- yep. And basically what happens is all you got to deal with then is the aerial flyers. There are flying creatures that will come after your base, too. Oh, radio. So you want to build up somewhere higher that the ground creatures find it difficult to get at. Right. And then you obviously you get you go through a few stages where nothing attacks your base. Then 
the flying creatures will start to come, I'm assuming. Yes, yes. And they'll start coming for you. Hold on, I got a wild... I got a deer. I got deer. Yes. All right, this is the, what I was talking about. I got a dog. Hold on. Is... Um, <laughs> The th- this right arm is the the ultimate arm, and if, if I could have one in real life, I would pay big money uh, for this right arm. <laughs> I got a pack. You could you could use it. You could use it for kids rides. It's like, now how far do you want to be thrown today, kids? Oh, could you imagine? I mean, yeah. I mean, the stuff you could do to your kids with this. Uh, throw your kids to school. Throw oh, them back. Yeah. Pulse, pulse them back. Drain their energy when they're, they won't go to bed. You just go in with that right arm and just suck the like. Not till they're dead, you know, obviously, but you suck the life out of them and uh, puts them to sleep. <laughs> You'd be like, uh, th- th- you probably get in trouble for that. I guess. I guess CPS or the police would show up at some point. Uh, it's like your kids seem to be very drained at school. Why is this? Well, they were being loud last night, so I sucked their energy away. Yeah, I got this little yeah, I can, arm thing. I can see how that. I can see. I, I can see how that interview will go down. Yeah, not good at all. Not good at all. All right, guys. I'm, so you can see I'm fighting a couple of creatures again with this right arm, but you can pulse too. You can pulse the uh, the arm as well. This this is like the arm that everybody wants. It's like the Bionic Man arm. Robocop. Yes. Um, with a with a psychic ability, psychic throwing abilities. Right. Okay, so I'm getting some pro night guys because we're gonna need this to add another um, power generator, and then we'll go out and do a little more exploring. See if you guys got any questions. The one thing um, also about this game, I think I said in my other stream is, uh, I and this is interesting. Some people might not know this who have this game is, this game actually started out as a tech demo and you could oh i still need uh tunnel no no hold on oh here we go um but basically start out as a tech demo all right we got power now yep everything's powered up guys so on the right you can see 675 of 900 uh basically that's my little my meter to tell me i've got 900 we'll say let's say watts of power and i'm only using 675 so we're all good Everything's fired up, but let's go out and roam around. I'm going to tell you guys, this started out as a tech demo on a website. I paid, I think, 10 bucks for it. I saw something promising, and I actually did a video on it. This is years ago. And all you could do is run around. You could do some wall climbing. You could uh, do a little Eden kit, fight off some aliens. And here, fast forward a couple years later, and this is what we got. And so why I'm saying that is it's um, uh, with, with these indie games... Uh, when you do your homework, it's part of like, you know, you think it's a roll of the dice. Is the team going to actually keep working on the game and are they going to finish the game? I'm sure all of us have games in our library that we've bought indie games where they ain't getting done. <laughs> I, 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 I probably could list off a few, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. So the good news with this one. Let me eat some steaks real quick, guys. Oh, shit. Is, um, this is the progress they've made. These guys have been very active in developing this game. It went from that tech demo, basically, a couple of years ago on a website to what you're seeing in front of you now, this four-kilometer square world. And it's still going. So uh, it has a track record. The team is solid. And that's something you definitely need to know and I wanted to share with you guys. Yeah, it seems like a from what uh from what you've explained and from what i've seen that the team that does has done this game is doing this game are interested in keeping on doing it and want to make it a, a full game not just going it's like oh we've right. got we've been giving a better off if we do something different and just go do, do something different and just leave the game as it is right uh, another thing that came up too was um i'm eating a little guys again there is this survival aspect in the game and i'm glad they added that uh, I'm drinking some water. It's really easy to find the water. Uh, there's these um, little plants called vesicles that you can get. Um, but um, I mentioned something about a oh nice shake about uh, vehicles because as this world gets bigger, like I said, four kilometer square. Now you know you don't want it to become a running simulator, and so. Uh, one of the devs did respond in the forum that they like vehicles too. So I don't know if that was a hint 
that we may see vehicles in the future. But I think in the future, there's going to definitely need to be some kind of transportation system, whether that's like portals, vehicles, something. Um, I think that would be cool. Well, just uh, not not that I have any knowledge of uh, from what the developers are thinking or anything like that, but being one of these space games, I'm sort of somewhat wondering, maybe like later, obviously a lot later in the future, there might be um, interplanet uh, traveling, just being one of those futuristic games, if yeah. you know what I mean. Yeah. Um, uh, hold that thought. Just so you know, I'm in a cave underwater, and it looks freaking epic all right just i just had to say that real quick <laughs> it's it do when you see this it, it is just i love the water biomes they have added i wish they'd even add more and deeper i mean it's just awesome and even put some like little hidden goodies down there like you know that you have to find or something but um uh yes i agree with, i think i i don't know if they're gonna go that direction with this game to be honest i've not seen indicators of that you know like where you go to other planets like imperion or even um osiris I, th I think I could be wrong, but I don't. I haven't seen indicators of that, and I'm actually okay with that because um, what I'd like to see is more of the, you know, Osiris and even Imperion. When, Imperion, when you're on those planets, you know, they're they're kind of in some ways barren a little bit, and there's things, but not a whole bunch of detail. Um, where is this game? Yeah, I, I, I can understand that. I mean, this game seems to have all that detail. That right. they're lacking. Right. And that's where I, I, for me, this is a different experience is that the world is much more detailed. And what I'd like to see them do is even expand this. Uh, you know, I know on the Unreal Engine Forward, you could go out to 16 kilometers square. It could handle that. And so basically we're at four kilometers square. So what's that? Four times the size of this. I think that would be an epically sized world in this game. And um, that's what I'd like to see. And then like, you know, even more biomes, like, you know, maybe a snow biome, Maybe an area that's just full of caves and you know underground places to advent, you know, venture out, get in trouble, whatever. Um, that's what I'd like to see in this game. And then I think they're going to add uh, objectives as well. When, and what I mean by that is like a storyline, you know. So like uh, you, similar to Imperion, where you go out and you know maybe capture this base or kill this creature or whatever. Uh, so that is coming in this game as well. That uh, that sounds actually like a really, really in depth. I, I I haven't seen anything indicating a single player, but it sounds like that there, there might be or somewhat of single player elements, which can really make or break a game. Right. Well, I, I think that's for me. That's what's why that's important. Is I think some of these games, you know, they they think I'm gonna build a survival game, whatever, and then you play it, and it's kind of like after a while, it's hollow. Like there's nothing there, you know. And um, I think having some kind of storyline and you know goals or objectives or things to do it just adds more depth to the world that you're in if that makes any sense it keeps you interested it does it's not like uh uh i can't remember i think i put so many hours into rust and so many hours into life is futile and it's like after a while you almost feel like you're doing the same thing and there's no there's nothing keeping you there right right Oh, and it more. sounds like Eden Star might be might be a bit different. Yeah, well, there definitely is a ton of detail in this world, um, and I, I think you know it's all hand placed basically. It's not this is not procedurally generated, and so because of that, you know, you got this really customized, you know, detailed world. Um, I do think I'd like to, like I said earlier, I'd like to see some more immersion things like weather effects. I'd like to see you know some stuff on the HUD, like some you know the dribbles, the wetness on the on the you know, your visor, um, the weather effects, I think would add some more to the game. And I know they're working on sounds too, but even more sounds in the world would be cool. Uh, but I want to show you guys something real quick. This thing in front of me is basically a down pod and you find these in the world and you use the super duper sucker arm to, um, suck it up. <laughs> and then it gives you a bunch of resources. <laughs> Uh, the pot, the pods of uh, the pods from space that give you lucky, awesome stuff. <laughs> right, right. All right, let's check the chat here. I'm gonna see. Uh, hello, Lee Griffin Vlog. Uh, welcome to the stream. Sorry, guys, I was uh, sucked in my own world here in this game, and also talking, talking to Spasmo. There's Beardy the Dwarf. Awesome <laughs> to see you here. 
And uh, let's see, shakes a great. Oh, thanks, Raymond. That was very nice of you. Um, I'm trying. And um, working after the military service. No running aim 2020. I don't know what that one. No running simulator, maybe. I think we should talking about. And what else? Okay, Raymond, take care. Hello, Lee Griffin Vlog. I think I said hi to you already. Hidden City Atlantis. Um, it, well, yeah, I'm glad you mentioned that, actually. You know, like in the water areas that we already went to, you know, what if you had some underground, you know, city or fortress that you had to swim down to and deal with or, you know, some kind of quest there? I think that would be awesome. I want to show you guys something real quick, though. Is Red Beam a light? Then, uh, yeah, go ahead. Oh, oh, sorry. I was going to say it's like that. Uh, talking about the underwater cities, that comes back to what we we're talking right at the start of the stream that some people might have missed. Uh, that uh, building, you said we were talking about maybe building a base underwater or something along those sorts of lines. Mm -hmm. Right. That would right. that would possibly come under that maybe maybe uh, having to build a base underwater or build certain elements so you can collect certain stuff un mm -hmm. in the water that you wouldn't be able to get if you didn't have that base. Right. And along the, those lines, like the vehicles, you know, you have a, a land hovercraft or something like that, maybe a quad or something, but even maybe building a craft at some point, like a small sub, you know, I think that would be cool. So, you know, you got the uh, land stuff, you got some underwater stuff going on. I think it'd be awesome. That yeah, I mean it's from when uh from when you've been flashing up the map there, that does seem a, a a decent size proportion of the map is water. So mm -hmm. I, if they do bring vehicles, I think it would almost be uh, negligent of them if they didn't bring some sort of boat or some sort of uh, hovercraft that can go on water or some right. some sort of submarine thing or something like that at all. Right. Um, okay, so what's happening now, guys? You see this blue bubble up here. This is another, basically, we'll call it a base, right? And so when you play multiplayer in this game, you're going to see in a server these blue bubbles out there. And that's basically other people's bases. And you could attack those uh, with your, you know, colony mates, or you could make friends with them. Um, you know, it depends, I guess, what type of server you're on. But I'm going to show you what's going to happen here. When I enter this dome right here, uh, what's going to happen is the weapons in this base are going to train on Shake, and they're going to try to take old Shakey out. I'm going to try to make sure that doesn't happen by moving very fast and being the Shakester I am. Okay, I heard the gun just activate, but what I want to do is take out this Eden kit. If I take out that Eden kit, the base becomes neutral, and I could claim this base then. So I'm going to see what I can do here, guys. All right, so what I'm Good doing luck. is, yeah, I, I'm going to need it. And I'm damaging this thing. The problem is you only have so much power in your hand before you got to go recharge it by sucking in. There, see, it's empty. So my hand's empty. Now I could start sucking the life out of this Eden kit as well. I'm going to try to do that a little bit. And then we're going to go ahead and go down and get some more stuff to recharge our hand here. Otherwise, we'll be here for hours doing this. Right, let me check the chat here, guys. For the glory of the Mosin. <laughs> I loved it. Uh, <laughs> what about the battle cry for the Marauders, though? Um, yeah, guys, just so you know, uh, we do have a little community going, shakesmarauders.com. I think we're at 40-plus members, really some good people there. So if you're looking for a place to hang out, it's not a clan. It's nothing like that. It's just a place to hang out, uh, game together. Uh, and if you want to hook up with me in some of these streams, you can do that as well. So. Yeah, the uh, Shakes Marauders is a good place for. Uh, it seems like a, a you've created quite a close knit community, or well, sorry, I shouldn't say close now. Should a, a community that seems friendly to each other, and everyone wants to is everyone's looking for the same thing, just a game and have fun. Right. <laughs> and the other thing is, um, uh, some of you guys uh, on the site, I know uh, Spasmo here. Um, you know, have their YouTube channels as well, and they're trying to get those going. So, um, uh, you know, Spasmo, I th you know, I think you didn't ha you didn't do content for a while, but I think you're trying to get it going again. Yeah, I've uh, I've got um, I went I sort of I did it a like a while ago, six months ago. I did I uploaded a few videos, but it's 
only within the last uh, three weeks that I've started uploading more regularly, and right. I'll continue doing that. That's I I did say at the start of the stream I was Shit. a bit absent for um. What oh, what's, what, what's happening? Sorry, dude. I mean, I just got my ass shot off from something, and I don't. I have no clue what it was. Sorry, I, I didn't mean to freak oh, out there, God. but I'm, I'm almost dead. I mean, something just lit oh, God. me up. Oh my God! What was that? Did you get eaten or attacked by something? I don't Obviously, know. You got attacked by something. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Oh, um, <laughs> sorry about that. Go ahead, keep going. I got a little freaked out there. Sorry. Uh, no, um, I was just saying that. So at the start of the stream, I explained that I was a uh, I was absent for a little bit. Uh, not entirely intentional or my fault. Um, but I will be uploading more, guys. If you'd like to go have a look at my YouTube channel, uh, I'll post it in the stream chat in a bit, maybe. Um, but otherwise, you can find me on Mar Shakes Marauders or uh, just through uh, streaming li streaming with Shake and other games that we all play together. Yes. All right, guys. I'm starving. I'm wounded. I'm almost dead. Um, I'm on top of this hill in the world of Eden Star. I was trying to take out this kit because I was going to show you you could take over base uh, but the other option is um, you can uh, let's just leave that there you actually can get into the base I could blow out a wall here like I could blow out this wall right here I'm gonna try this right here guys so I'm doing damage to this wall and I actually have a weapon as well You um sorry. You were sort of uh, explaining that your hand needs power. I thought you, I thought you didn't need power for your all godly hand. <laughs> you you don't for the um this the sucking motion. <laughs> the sucking. <laughs> That's a we, we've got to come up with a better name than that. <laughs> <Okay>. You don't. <laughs> You don't sucky for, sucky. Yeah, you, know, you don't need for the sucking feature, <laughs> but you do for the uh, pulsating feature. This is going downhill fast, uh, but the um, you do need to suck up like plants, basically uh, fauna, to use your left hand pulse or your right hand pulse, the blowback power. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. This isn't going anywhere. No, 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 no. <laughs> Sucking and pulsating. Yeah. I apologize for any young people on right about now. Yes, yeah, sorry. It's all Spasmo's fault. Um, it's not Spasmo's fault, radio right Coming from the guy who's actually doing the sucking. Yeah. <laughs> you know what's good? You know, I'm glad actually I'm going to die here soon because um, what's good about that is I want to see. I want to see if actually. Oh, I your spawn pad works. Yep. That'll be interesting to see. Maybe we should just go sit under a gun or something. Yeah, let's and, uh, do it. Wait let's run. See if it actually... I'm dead. All right. <laughs> Shake's dead. Let's let's see if I can spawn. But I don't know if this feature has been activated uh, in the uh, this experimental build. It will be in the. F oh yeah 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 yeah. It's there. Okay guys, so we get a spawn at. Yes. Yes, it worked. It worked? Yeah. Excellent. Okay. Is it, that, is it a continuous thing or is it only a one-time use sort no, of thing? No, no, it's, it's, it's a prop in your uh, base. You can, um, yeah, you can use it all the time. As long as your base is powered and it's not damaged, you can use it. Excellent. Uh, so, yeah, I'm just, a, I'm just a, a minute or so behind, yeah. so I'm sort of trying to... <laughs> engage okay. in the conversation while, while, while I've been a minute behind, but that's no problem. Does let's see, uh, let's see. Uh, I'm gonna check the chat. If you got questions, I mean, I know pretty much a lot about this game, but you can put in the chat. Um, let's see. I saw one that popped up here. Tenel is a good material type, hence the hit points. Yes, it is a good one to get. A lot of times, it's protected by the baddies, though. But uh, I'm seeing a lot of it in this experimental build. Easy to find. Um, Yes, a gun would have more. I have not crafted a gun yet. Uh, I was trying to do that, uh, but the problem is I couldn't quite figure out how to do it, believe it or not. But what I want to show you guys now is there is a base up here that I want to try to take out, or at least I want to try to get into it because I think it's got a bunch of goodies in it, which means it could have a weapon. Um, last time I went there, though, Spasmo, uh, I got totally raped. 
but I'm going to try a different approach. <laughs> <laughs> try a different approach. Uh, not, not enough sucking power? <laughs> no, I, it definitely was lacking in the sucking power. So we're going to we're going to try this again, though. Let's get some deer while we're at it and throw that one up, throw him to the right. And here comes my deer down, get some food. I love now something. I, sorry, something no, I was just thinking off the top of my top of my mind. Um, could you could you get get a whole bunch of angry creatures to start chasing you and just just start throwing them into the base so they attack the base and not you? Uh, you know they kind of do both. They actually kind of come for the base and for you, if that makes any sense. Yeah, no, that, that does. Okay, so that plan wasn't going to work. Like, get him to get all these baddies to chase you and then throw them into the enemy base so then you can oh. sneak around the back and oh, you could steal do, everything. Oh, oh, the enemy base. Yeah, you could do that, I guess. Yeah. But I think what happened when I, when I went to this one last time, I didn't, like, really think about the approach. So there's two guns guarding this thing. So I'm going to... Um... You really just like tossing things around, don't oh, you? Oh, God, I love it. It's just so... <laughs> Dude, when you get in this game... I'm telling you right now, there, there's, uh, when you, <laughs> we get a multiplayer, you're going to go, Spasmo, what are you doing? Are you collecting that wood ass? Did he get? No, I'm throwing deer around. <laughs> exactly. Well, I, I saw earlier a comment from <laughs> Beardy the Dwarf, and I think it was, um, Von, Sh Von Steining, or where, where was he at? I, I, Von, where are you at, Von? Uh, but, the, you know, they, they're base building nut jobs. I mean, in, in Osirius, or was this Osirian? What the hell is it? Osirian? Osirian? What the hell is it called? Osiris. Yes. They, uh, they're all into the base plane. So I could see them in this game because uh, you can build some huge structures in this game. I could see them going crazy. Oh, that, I'm, I'm glad we've got some serious base builders in Shakes Marauders because mm. when it comes to that sort of stuff, I, I, I'm good at it, but I'm not... Uh, I guess I don't put in enough time, so it takes me forever to build anything. <laughs> right. Now, this is one of the... Like, new I get really... Yeah, go ahead. Sorry. Sorry, sorry. No, no, go. You go. 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 I, was, I was just gonna. I was just gonna say. I get sometimes a little bit sick of how guys like. Oh, you gotta get ten thousand rockets. Like, I can do that, or I can go shoot stuff. <laughs> right. Right. Where? See, I love the base building. I could. I could spend hours like on one wall, <laughs> just getting all into it. Um, this is a new area right here, you guys. Um, it's. I think they call it the swamp biome or something like that. Uh, but it has a. I love this look. This kind of foggy look to it. I think it looks really, really cool. All right, here we go. We're proceeding out. Sucky, sucky, sucky. Yep, yep. Blow, 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 and sucky, <laughs> sucky, sucky here. Well, I'm just, I'm just watching you suck up these pods, toss things around. <laughs> yeah, it's just, it's very addictive. I'm gonna do a little wall climbing here. Uh, that is also kind of fun in this game. Uh, like I said, there is parkour, so you can, um, you know, like double double jump, you know, grab the ledge, um, things like that. You can wall run. That that does seem like a, a good a good feature that they've added. The can you change your view so you can actually see your body, or can you have you only got this first person view? At that the is a dude. I just climbed a tree. I have never done that in this game. I didn't know you could climb a damn tree. Hold on, I gotta do that again. You can, you can climb I, a wall face, but you, you didn't know you could climb a tree. That. <laughs> that is one thing I think they should change in this game. So the reason I say that is, one thing they're working on is a female character. So right now there's only a male character in this game. Uh, they are working on a female character as well. Um, but I do think they should add, and I know the Unreal Engine will do this because uh, they, they do it in the other games, is... Uh, it has a real nice over-the-shoulder view, you know, the third-person view. And I think because you can craft custom, basically, armor in this game, or I think that's where they're going with this, is I think it would be cool to be able to see your character in this game. Uh, so n no third-person yet. I'd love to see them add that feature, though. And I think, I think most people who like these kind of games would like that option, you know, third or first-person. Yeah, um, something else I was going to ask. Does the parkour have, like, a distance? Can you only go up certain size walls, or can you, if you've got a wall that goes up miles and miles and miles, can you just keep climbing it until you get to the top? Um, I, it's, uh, the answer is kind of yes and no. 
so like if that wool had some little lit, like edges to it, um, you could kind of keep going up. But if it's straight up, no, you, you you can only like jump. You can't just spam it and climb up everything. No, it, it's pretty good actually. You know how they did it. Oh, that's good. No, because I was just watching you, and some faces it's like it's like some seemed bigger than others, and others seemed quite small. It's just wondering, have you? Is that sort of a bit unlimited at the moment? They haven't put that in right to the sense where, uh, yeah. No, no, yeah, it's pretty balanced. I think you know. Uh, you know, like Skyrim or some of the other games, how you can climb up a mountain, like as long as you keep spamming the damn it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, what, what happened? I've been, I've, I haven't got up to that. I, 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 I burned in. I burned in. But what's cool is we found a base that's not protected, guys. So we're going to go in this and we're going to see if there's some goodies for us in here. Fingers crossed. Oh, Good here luck. we go. Lockbox. Nah, 13 10 -0. That's nothing too great. Um, what else is there in here? Now, if I wanted to, I could drop an Eden kit here, right? And I could claim this base if I wanted to. Uh, so that's kind of cool as well. You could come in with your hand and your sucking tool, and you could uh, suck up this stuff and collect the resources as well. Okay, guys, we got gun parts. We got nice. gun parts. Well okay. Yes. So we got a sidearm receiver. Assault receiver, assault receiver, and a pistol barrel, and a small caliber magazine, and a small caliber ammo. So we should be able to craft a weapon now. All we need now is a crafting table, which this well one does not have. Yeah, well I got lucky there. How about that? Let's go, uh, let's keep proceeding to our objective, which is going to be this top area over here. Uh, I think this base has got a lot of loot in, so we're going to go check it out. Um, someone says this seems like rust a bit. <laughs> Chaos Lewis says, what is some of the semi-sexual stream? Have I missed something or am I really drunk after one beer? <laughs> uh, oh, no. <laughs> the problem with that is we can't think of a better name for the hand device. <laughs> yeah, because it sucks. It seems to suck everything. <laughs> Uh, another cool thing is they got these floating islands, and it reminds me of Avatar, you know, with all the moss hanging down, and I think it looks oh, really cool. Gosh, yes. Doesn't That's, it look cool? Oh, I'm, I'm now going to have to go back and watch that movie. Thanks for that, Shake. Yeah, that was a damn good movie. I didn't notice that. I was going to ask a question about that earlier, but I, we got sidetracked about talking about something else. With those <sighs> islands, it almost seems like they might have to add some sort of flying device or flying spaceship because it's like can you imagine the bases people can yeah. build on those things yeah because you can't get to those now but i agree i think uh, you know a year or two from now down the road uh, to me the game would be unbelievable like looking out these islands right now out there floating if you could actually fly to those right on a little ship or whatever and then build a base and, and then as a colony you claim that island or whatever now see i think that would be freaking epic well, that that would be amazing because it's like you have your colony, or your colony with all your mates or whoever you play with up on the up on the thing, and anyone comes in any sort of fly distance of your island, and you yeah. can just unleash hell on them. Yeah, it would be almost and like uh, Flash Gordon. You're probably too young for that too, but uh, I could see like you have like almost like you know like jet skis, water jet skis, but uh, yeah. they can fly through the air. <laughs> it would be Flash Gordon, baby. Like um, oh, like a. <laughs> Oh, Star Wars, with the what the droids yeah, ride yeah, on, yeah, yeah, and they, and, they, and they fly in the air. Yeah, uh, I'm assuming I'm assuming it's something similar like that. Yes, yes. Yeah. All right, guys, we're almost there, guys. I'm getting some vittles right now. Okay, so what are your thoughts about the game, guys? What do you think? Any questions? Uh, do you, uh, what are you thinking? Uh, again, it does have multiplayer. It does have PvP, PvE. Okay, that looks epic. I got to get a screenshot of this, guys. Hold on. That looks epic. Let me get a screen of that. Boom. All right, we got to go this way. Oh, don't fall, Shay. Come on, baby. Parkour it. Parkour it. Don't get stuck. Oh, it is a bit interesting. It is a bit interesting when you throw something and uh, it sort of it ignites. It just catches fire. 
Uh, yeah, it's kind of a cool effect. Uh, yeah. I think that's a bit of a cool feature. Oh, Shake, I'm looking at this. Uh, this live stream's caught up, and I'm looking at that. We're taking a picture of that. Is a that's a back. See, that is a background for your computer, sort of screensaver yeah, picture. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. All right, guys, we're almost there. I appreciate your patience. I want to show you. Well, one, you're getting to see this new swamp biome, which is, I love the brown look of it, kind of foggy. And in fact, that's the other thing I said earlier, like some rain or thunder, uh, maybe freaky, uh, freaky planet lightning. But I'd like to see even like the fog, you know, like kind of blowing through, maybe some wind where the trees are getting blown. You know, just some of that immersion stuff I think would be cool. Get up there, baby. Okay, here we go. All right, guys, we're moving there. This is a free. If you've noticed, if you've been watching the stream, I mean, I'm pretty much exploring new areas, so the, you could tell the map is freaking epic. I mean, size-wise, is pretty damn huge. Does it seem big to you? I mean, yeah. Since you don't... From from uh, obviously, obviously, just from watching, it seems like. I mean, you're trekking over a huge distance, and you you only get like so far from your base before it goes dark again. Right. So it's like. Right. It, I mean, unless you've got some awesome, unless you, I don't know, can you up, uh, upgrade your character at all? Like they do in mo like a lot of these sorts of games where you can give them more stamina or more, um, more strength or anything like that. You, 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 so I, I just brought up the suit. Uh, so you can add these like, you know, basically armor and different things for the body. I, I don't know. I've never done that. So I don't know if the armor will make you faster or stronger. I, my guess is it'll protect you more from damage but i i don't know the um the attributes of the armor so uh because i don't have any uh but i don't think there's like stat points you can spend like on your character at the moment uh, from what i can see in the new user interface so it must it, they must be planning to have some sort of vehicles in or maybe different sorts of armor or clothes that give you boosters because it seems like you only can get so far away from your base before it goes dark and you either have to return or you sort of have to have lots of ammo and lots of guns to sort of keep on going to somewhere if you're trying to get special resources yeah you, well i've run through the night and i mean it's not if you if you know what you're doing with this hand thing and you keep moving you you can make it through the night um it hasn't been that much of a struggle i mean if you got a bunch of those creatures that got on your butt it might get more difficult, but it's not too hard to, to survive the night. In fact, it's harder at your base to survive the night because the creatures are drawn to your base. See, um, it's like oh, okay, I, yeah. Their I goal was, is to destroy your base. I didn't, I didn't realize that it's like they're actually actively out to destroy anything you build. That's interesting. they are, yeah. So that's where that tower. In fact, that's where the game when we when it first kind of game came out was centered more around tower defense. And um, I'm kind of glad it's kind of going away from that a little bit because I'm not a big fan of just tower defense games. Um, so by adding the survival uh, element, I think um, that was a good move to do that. Yeah, I can see how it's like if you have to return to your base every night to defend it for the night, you can't sort of just leave it for a couple of nights or whatever. That can get pretty repetitive and, right. I guess, boring in a sense. Yeah, because that, that's what all ends up all you're doing then is just defending your base. So uh, they will attack your base while you're gone, I believe. Uh, so that's where it comes into design of your base, you know, your weapons. And if you put it in the right spot and you build it right and you have the right enough weapons, it'll last a long time. So I'm going to check yeah, the chat real it quick. it seems like. It seems like, like you were saying, if you go build up in the cliffs or something or in a place where, I guess, land creatures can't really get to your base, then right. it's it's all about, I guess it's all about placement, design, and uh, I guess doing a little bit of research of where uh, resources are, so you, you right. obviously you're not running for days to get resources or whatever. Right. I'm just checking the chat. Uh, a lot of comments. I think uh, we got um, Beardy's going to have a cigarette. Um, they're happy I got the Peacemaker. I think it must be one of the pistols. Do I love good story games? Eden starts like Halo. Okay, so we got a, a, a comparison with Halo. 
I'm making sure I'm going the right way, guys. It's coming up here pretty soon. But I wanted to point out something, too. You know, remember I talked about fog and kind of the immersion thing? So one thing I'm liking in this area is it's really thick with fog. And it just adds to the creep factor. Like you think at any moment something's going to jump out and grab you. Uh, what's a... Uh, I can't think of the movie now. Um, it's a scary movie where they go... I don't know, they, all these kids are in the forest. They go camping and then it's like... They discover this lake or whatever and they want to go swimming or whatever. And then it, everything just... It's like it, it turns to a swamp. This thick fog comes in. The eerie music starts playing. Uh -huh. and I think I think they should put the eerie music in. <laughs> all right, hold on one second. So, like when, when you get into the okay. when you get into the swamp areas. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, the other thing is, I think again, at, you know, again, early access, but even adding more of those ambient sounds, you know, like in the distance, you hear like you know some kind of. <laughs> I just made that sound up. You know, you hear some like something howling, or you know, in the distance, or some scream. You know, just to freak you out a little bit. Oh my god! Yeah. Um. Dude, I just got spit just at. Just me. You got spat at. I like did. acid spit. Yeah. Oh. Oh god. I got. A, oh my god, dude. I got the whole herd coming now. This is what I'm talking about. And then I'll. I'll hold on a second. Oh my god. I gotta run. I gotta run, dude. There's like hundreds coming. I've just ran into the mother load. Oh no. Is she, yep. is, is she gonna be eaten alive? No, this I'm is, jumping uh, the lake, dude. Is, oh my god. I'm jumping the lake. I'm, I'm going to the lake, dude. There's like 50 of them coming after me. I just ran out. Uh, oh, my uh, God. They're coming. Oh. <laughs> All right. I got to get the, this. Oh, my God. Jake, run, buddy. Jump. All right. We're in, we're in the lake. Okay. Now, what were you saying? <laughs> I, I can't remember now. I'm, I'm in depth of you watching you running to that lake. All right. So, I just bailed in the lake. Uh. I'll, I'll t I'm just going to inform you now, Shake. If they put eerie sounds in, like too many eerie sounds in that game, it's yeah. like, I, it's like I hear, I co I'll go out with you going for resources or whatever, and it's like we hear eerie sounds. Off, I'm the sort of guy that's like, I throw my arms in the air. It's like, no, nope, can't do it, can't do it. I'm going back to base. Bye, I'm yeah, done. Exactly. I'm done. <laughs> exactly. Uh, the other thing they've added, they've added some like uh, props in the game, uh, but you know what? The, it's not just this game. It's like even other games. It's like. The one thing I don't like is props in game that do nothing. You know, like you know, you add the bed, you add the desk, you add the chairs, the yada yada, and then they they may look kind of cool just sitting there. I'd like to see these games add like you know, if you add a a desk with a computer or whatever that you actually can interact with it. So like in this game, they've got like this console almost. Oh shit! Hold on, hold on. Yep. And I'd like it to where you could sit down at that and like. It could pull up things like maybe a, the map of the world, maybe a comm center where you get emails, maybe your missions are in there. You know, I like to be able to interact with the props in your base, if that makes any sense. And maybe, hopefully, they'll add some more of that stuff in. So it's like a, oh, what do they have in those futuristic games where it's like a, everyone comes around in the conference room and the hologram comes up on the map oh whatever, yeah 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 explaining what they're doing for the mission like i think um i don't know uh, i i've played a few of these like sort of futuristic sort of survival games and i've come across nothing like that and it's right. like i can understand it's like they've got so many props that could do something awesome but just don't right right uh, I mean, uh, if the, I think it's like uh, I, I know, I know for the dev team it could be a bit more work, it and all such. But I mean, I think some of those things could actually like surprisingly enough. If if there were more games that actually had more props that did things, it it would definitely pull me in to play them. Right. All right, I got an, another epic screenshot coming up here, guys. I want to get a shot of this. Uh, we're I'm getting close to wrapping this up. My my go main goal here is to get up to this spot. It's very cool looking. I want you guys to see it. Uh, but basically the challenge is, it's like, oh, hold on. I got animals coming. Shh. Oh, this is a doggy. Uh, but the challenge is, um, they've made it almost, it's a perfect place to ba build a base. Uh, but there's a base already there that's protected by some machine guns. But I'm going to try to find a shortcut into it if I can. Let's see if we can do this. 
should just uh, you should start destroying it and sucking it up and replacing it with your yeah, own there base. There goes there. We're talking about the sucking and blowing again. I just. <laughs> I don't, know, I don't mean it like that at all. No, I don't either. I, so it's just uh, okay. There it is, right there, guys. I think that's the bridge going over down there below. So let's head over there because that looks freaking epic. All right, we got to go down these cliffs here, guys. Wish me luck. Let's good head luck. down here. Yeah. That. Oh, that. Look, oh my God, that looks so cool right there. I hope we can get across that. That looks so damn cool. I just took a little fall damage. I should be okay. Yeah, there is fall damage. No jet packs in the game, though. Um, I mean, that's something else I think they should probably consider is the ability to add, you know, jet packs or Some something like that. Jet, jet packs or parachutes or some sort of gliding sort of yeah. backpack or something. I think that would be cool. I think I've got some health containers here. I do. Let's use that. There we go. Oh, oops. All right. All right. Let's check the chat, guys. Any of this? Um, don't just call it force pull. Okay. Force pull. Okay. Uh huh. <laughs> it almost seems like saying force pull is almost like. It almost feels like it's trademarked, like for Star Wars, doesn't it? <laughs> A little bit. Um. All right, guys, we're heading out here to this kind of uh, floating landmass bridge. And we're, I think out here, that looks cool as hell. You know how long it must have taken to make all this, you know, this terrain? I I couldn't I couldn't imagine. I mean, from the little bit of, like, uh, coding and stuff that I have done, right. I, have, I couldn't imagine how much time and effort had gone into making something like that yeah. <laughs> at all <laughs> hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of hours yep crazy and again it's not i, I believe it's not procedurally generated so you know, they have to hand place all this stuff in here all right guys is the actual island you're on actually floating the whole thing is floating yeah you're it's basically like i said it's like uh, avatar everything you're on is a floating landmass Oh, wow. That's interesting. Okay, this is like the best place to build out here. I'm out on this uh, outcrop. I thought there was a, one of those blue, you know, Eden kits out here. I could, but I must have been at a different spot. But uh, I am out there now. And this would be like, I'll show you a place that, uh, let me see if I can drop an Eden kit actually. Because this would be a great place to build. And I'll show you like an ideal location. Right Yeah, I'm watching you. You just yep. crossed that land bridge. I'm watching you run up this hill now. Yep. This like this spot, like this, because you know those creatures they can't really climb the wall, and so you, you know you want to create like a choke point where they have to come through, and then you put your guns on those choke points. Um, the other thing is then you're kind of just have to deal with the flying creatures at night. So let's see if I can drop a. Eden kit here, guys. Yep, I can. So we're going to put an Eden kit right here, and we're going to call this... Um, we're going to spin it around a little bit by holding our left mouse button. And I'm actually going to... Yep, this will be it right here. So we have a new Eden kit we've put down, and I'm going to put a little foundation in place. And we're gonna go. What are you, th what are you gonna call it, Shake? Ah, uh, I don't know. I haven't uh, named it yet. Um, I don't know if you can name your base. You can name your colony, but I don't think you can name your actual base. Not oh, okay, yet. Right, yeah. And see, like the one thing to make a base, like right now, I can't even make the foundations because I need protonite. So I'm gonna go grab some of that real quick. Uh, just get at least a foundation, and again, we'll wrap this up. Um, I, I appreciate you hanging out with me the whole time. I know you're tired. What time is it where you're at in Australia? Uh, I'm, I'm not, uh, to be honest, I'm not. I'm all right, actually. I mean, okay. I said I was tired, but as soon as I started talking to you, I, I brightened up a fair bit. It's a, it's a, it's two forty-five in the morning. Oh, yeah. geez, dude. All right, all right. Um, 
Uh, again, this is Eden Star. It is on Steam. It is early access. Uh, check it out on their page. It ha I think it does have positive reviews um, from what I remember. I think I looked uh, last night. Uh, it is about $20 American. Um, so I don't know if that comes out to as far as e uh, Europe goes and other countries. Um, Flix Interactive is it, the... Yeah, go ahead. Sorry, in Australia, it's about... Uh, that's about 25 27 dollars okay. okay for anyone who's watching it in australia <laughs> and uh flix interactive is the dev team very active hold on i got it. i got attackers coming after me these dogs um they usually put out like a weekly uh dev update um even if it's not an, like an actual game update they're always putting out an update saying what they're working on what's coming and like i said earlier they got this uh trello board as well that they're really good about putting stuff on as well. Okay, so we're going to make just a real uh, simple... What the... Oh! I just got attacked by a dog, dude. Sorry. <laughs> you gave me a bit of a shock there. I'm still watching Harvest Trees, and you all uh, of a sudden I get this. Oh, my God! <laughs> yeah, sorry. Just scared the hell out of me just now. Uh. And so and one thing is, again, if you like to build um, bases... You really can make. I mean, I've seen some images of some of the bases people have made. Oh my god! I mean, they're just, they're just crazy. Yeah, I mean, uh, from what uh, so even some of just the uh, like the computer generated ones that are in the world that you're playing in at the moment. Right. Some of them even just seem like up there, like quite up there with epicness. <laughs> yeah. Oh well, and trust me, those are nothing. Some of the bases people have built. I mean, it's like something out of a sci-fi movie. I mean, because uh, let me sh show you real quick. We'll wrap this up. Is in the building area, like when you get to um, primitives, even. I mean, there's all kinds of curved, like, shapes you can make. Struck in fact, let me make one right now. Uh, let's make um, either stairs. Um, uh, you can do, uh, like, a lab doorway or lab walls, which are kind of like see-through glass. Let me just put one up right now, show you guys that. That looks really cool. You can put, uh, let's put, actually, I'm going to put another one there. I kind of like that. Oh, I just put a door there. I didn't want that. And if you do that, you can just reclaim it with uh, the Vulcan hand. I'll call it that. Uh, but you also have, Vulcan like, hand. <laughs> utilities. You got the, uh, I like it. you like that? You got the in kit. You got the generator. Like you've got a, uh, a lockbox. You've got the replication, which is for spawning. You've got an ironite fabricator or a fabricator. You got an armory, so you can have an armory with your store your weapons and I'm guessing your ammo. Uh, so that's what they got so far in that. Defenses, you've got really cool like defense weapons. You've got a energy turret that has like a laser beam fence thing. Uh, you've got a missile turret. Uh, no, this is the laser post. This is the fence thing. Uh, you also have a auto turret which shoots like almost machine uh, like it's like a machine gun basically. And the energy turret actually like zaps them. It comes up and zaps them. It's pretty cool. Uh, modifications you have um i don't know what the hell that is oh that's for i think when you want to uh is that for um hold on a second here what is that shield i forgot is that i don't know what that is actually uh but you have a uh, light you could put lights in you can do a door uh so that's pretty cool and decorations you've got currently uh like a little uh, looks like a what is that a sign uh, I've never seen that sign. Can you actually put something on the sign? Let's put one of these in there. Hold on. Let's see if I can make one of these signs. Now I want to make a sign. Let's go get some protonite. <laughs> I want to. I want to see if you can like. I think you asked earlier if you can like name your base. I wonder if you. Well, the, yeah. For, if you got signs, that would make that would be. I guess naming your base. You just put a sign in front of it. Yeah. Let's see if this works, guys. Real quick. Let's get some of this uh, protonite out of here. Uh, let's check the chat here. Two positive and 9,700 negative reviews is also true for the statement. It does have positive reviews. Okay, I think chaos delivery. I don't know if uh, I don't know what what that even means. Uh, in starts 10 for 10. It is a great game, I think. And grenades. Yes, they are going to add grenades. I forgot to mention that earlier. They're going to add grenades in this as well. Um, 
Yep. Well, I, I think the reviews don't tell everything, but they, they do. I think if you look, they give you some. You know, you guys still look at like videos and other stuff. But one thing I look for is how active is the dev team, and I look at like dev posts. You know, their their dev blogs basically. Uh, you know, how active are they posting things and sharing things? I do think that is if you start to piece all that together, it does give you some kind of indication. Okay, I just put a sign up. And actually, it looks like oh, it's actually... Is it a can you sign? Ride you know, it's more like a light, it looks like. Oh, I just hit it. Shit. I'm hitting I. No, nothing there. <laughs> Uh, it doesn't look Bashing like your own sign. Yeah, it's more like a. Um, I think eventually maybe you'll be able to do some with it, maybe, because that would be cool if you could put some words on it. Yeah, like keep away or yeah. you're now entering such and such territory or this is this is Shake Marauder's base. <laughs> right. Yeah, and then like uh, I just put a bed in, guys. So like, there's a bed, but like this bed, you can't do nothing with it, you know. So. Eventually, I'd like to see, you know, where you actually can do something with this stuff, you know. And then uh, maybe, maybe like, you could regenerate health in your bed or, you know, who knows. Uh, they got, like, a table. They got, uh, looks like a, some railing. Oh, I, ju I just saw the sign that you put up. Yeah. That looks like a, maybe that's something you could put on, um, like, on, oh, you know how uh, in movies stockbrokers have like all the stocks running across those electric yeah 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 like a ticket screens from ticket left tape. to right yeah ticket tape yep yeah maybe that's what that is and maybe that's what you can do on the console or something if you have your when you have your base hooked up yeah I oh uh, well I've tried I have put the console in which is this thing right here let's put one in let's see what happens yeah maybe it'll give you an option okay to, so. Uh, Science, whatever. Yeah, so I'm, I'm up next to it, and I don't see anything happening. Yeah, so eventually, maybe like you'll be able to go up to this desk, and maybe you can use that to program that sign. I don't know, but um, they do have some cool props. It's just at some point, I'm sure they're going to be bringing these things to life. But like you said, that sign would be cool as if you could like write a message that strolls across it, and even change the color of the lighting. I think that would be cool. Yeah, well, that's, that's maybe what I was thinking. It's like, because that's what it looks like. Yeah, you're right. It does. Like, just, I, mean, I, I mean, I can see maybe putting that on a stick or something and maybe putting it like a bit out far on your base. But to me, that looks more like something you put inside your base that says, like, that's label. Obviously, when you get bigger base, it's got multi-levels and all that sort of stuff. You can have right. it saying, oh, this is bedroom. This is sleeping area. Or right, this is right. the armory or this is power. Well, this is where the power hub is, or whatever you want to call it. Right. All right. I'm just going to check the chat one last time. We're going to wrap this up, guys. Um, uh, let's see what we got here. Sign the contract, Shake. I don't know what that means. And um, let's see. Cryo sleep. Yeah, like cryogenic sleep or something. Do I play uh, multiplayer? Uh, yes, I will when this update goes live and includes multiplayer. I will be playing multiplayer. I'm hoping to to convince Strongarm, Blackmail, inspire some of the folks from ShakesMarauders.com to jump join me on a server and we create a colony. Colony? Col <laughs> colony? Similar. <laughs> Lizzie, where's this? Shit? Yeah. You know, similar to what we're doing in... Um, I always want to say Orion, but it's not. It's Osir Osiris. 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 Jeez, I can never remember that. Hello, Crim Slime. And um, let's see. Controls the turret on Eden Star. You think it's something in the Eden kit? What if I go there? I don't. Uh... I think he's talking about the console there. Can oh. he, if you could control the oh, turret yeah. from there. Yeah. That, well, I think this console, it could do a lot of things. I think if you could add, like, a, one of the props could be a radar dish that if you craft it and you put it on your thing, you go to the console and it brings up, like you said, a hologram in front of you that shows you a map of the world or, like, the area around you. You know, it shows you maybe some, you could do a scan for resources or show enemy. I think that would be cool, too. Yeah, that would, uh, I th yeah, definitely. 
Yeah. Uh, when will I play H and G next? It's not going to be this week because on Friday, when I normally do H and G, I am going to be doing um, Mafia Three. It's on its release date. I've had some people I asked, "Was is that something they'd want to see?" And they said yes. So I'll be doing that on Friday. Uh, tomorrow, guys, we're doing Severium, and I think I know Spasm is going to try to make it. Uh, other people from Shakes Marauders are welcome as well. It is a free to play game, so it's free to download. Uh, I'm going to be playing about uh, level T four. Uh, equipment wise uh, there is an update coming out for severium here in the future that looks pretty awesome i'll talk about that more tomorrow and um that's it. it's monday I, I, it feels like monday a little bit for me but i feel better after the stream i did have a walk this morning and it's always great chatting with you guys and uh thank you again spasmo for staying up uh really late to hang out with us no, no problem man I've, i like i said i've been a, a bit absent so i felt a bit obliged to Come say hello when you invited me. So that's what I did. All right. Okay, guys. Uh, have a great day, and I will see you tomorrow in Severium. Uh, appreciate the subs, the likes, and whatever, and, and for keeping the positive comments going, good questions and interaction. Love it. Uh, and hopefully I see you guys at shakemarauders.com. Peace, cheers, and uh, if you haven't seen my rap video, don't watch it. It's horrible. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> it's bad. <laughs> it's scary. <laughs> don't let kids watch it. It's scary.